Welcome back to The Catch Up, the show where we catch you up on what the heck is happening. Things feel interesting. I mean, it's February and Joe Biden is president. I don't have to wake up to tweets of whatever the commander in chief decided to post during his 2 a.m. shit. And Stop the Steal has gone back to being a marketing phrase that I can find in my email. Like, you can't stop this steal of savings. And Steve Kornacki has gone back to hibernating or whatever it is he does. But still, I can't help feeling, is this the upside down? We would like to extend our heartfelt congratulations to those Redditors who sunk Wall Street billionaires simply by purchasing stock at GameStop. I myself didn't hear about it early enough to quite get in on the action, uh, but I do feel better than those Redditors who are still using Reddit on Internet Explorer and bought stock in Blockbuster to stand up to the man. Although the vaccine distribution is slow and feels like it was organized by whoever let the 2019 film Cats happen, the pandemic is making the impossible possible. With priority going to the older generation, Hollywood actors are actually owning up to what their actual ages are. I'm Brooke Reese. And I'm Maria Schwarz. Now let's catch you up on the news. Coachella has been canceled for the third time due to COVID-19. Of course, this is extremely worrying. Cultural appropriation can't take another hit like this. A video went viral of the cast of The Crown dancing to Lizzo. Took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% a bitch. This family is mean to everyone. Amazon has been urged by its customers to rethink its new app logo after many say that it looks like Hitler with a blue mustache. Absolutely unthinkable for Amazon to be connected with evil in this way. China has started doing anal swabs for COVID-19 testing. CVS drive throughs are about to get way more interesting. The Loch Ness Monster has been spotted for the first time this year. Really, Nessie just heard that conspiracy theorists were talking about microchips and vaccines and just wanted to give them something a little bit more substantial to grasp onto. The developers of the video game Cyberpunk 2077 are asking players to please stop having sex with a computer-generated version of Keanu Reeves. I thought it was weird that the statement started with, I know you want John Wick's John Dick. In honor of Valentine's Day, Kraft has released a pink mac and cheese that tastes like candy. Nothing says I love you like almost certain food poisoning. Instead of a night together in the bedroom, it'll be a night in the bathroom. It was released that Microsoft patented a chat box that would let you talk to dead people, but it ended up being too disturbing for production. That's mainly because they started with the former office assistant Clippy and, oh boy, did he have some unfinished business. A study has found that naked mole rats have their own unique dialects, and also because of this, they are incredibly xenophobic. For animals that look like ball sacks, it sure sounds like they're being real dicks. A new Harry Potter series is in development over at HBO Max. Since it's HBO, I can only assume and we're going to get to see Ron and Hermione do it. An MTA worker that attended the Capitol riot has been identified as a proud boy and is now facing conspiracy charges. Rumor has it his lawyer's tactic is to affirm that he is no longer a proud boy, but an ashamed of my actions boy. Facebook announced that it will permanently stop recommending political groups. Unfortunately, your uncle will continue. Thank you so much for watching. We hope everyone is having an amazing start to their February, and we will see you the next time on The Catch Up. Bye. Huh. Six more weeks of winter. Seems like kind of a safe bet, don't you think? So now I have to get Blockbuster stock. How do I get the internet?